Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris and this is our 13th video in Python GUI development with Kiwi. So uh, in this video we're going to learn that how we can draw different shapes in Kiwi. So first of all I've created two files. Uh, the first one is my drawing shapes.py and the second file is uh, the .kiwi file. So first let's uh, create our window. Now uh, we need to import uh, from Kiwi so from kiwi.app we are going to import app and also we are going to use relative layout so from kiwi.uix.relative layout we are going to import relative layout so first we're going to create a class for the relative lay layout because uh, we want to define rules for this uh, relative layout in our .kiv file so I'm going to call this class my relative layout. Now this class extends from the relative layout. We're not going to add anything in this class and we're going to just pass this. So the second one is our main window class. I'm going to just call it drawing window. Now this class extends from the app class. And now in the build, we are going to just return our this relative layout. So we are going to say return my relative layout. Uh, now after this, uh, we need to run our KV app uh, at the bottom. So in here, we can just say And now we need to create our drawing window object. So drawing window. Now we can simply say window dot run. Uh, so this is our uh, dot python file. Now we need to define some rules for this my relative layout. Uh, one important issue that we are when you are going to create your dot kiwi file, you can see that it's now drawing window dot kiwi make sure that this name should be the same as this drawing as your uh, main class so in my case for example it's drawing window now my kiwi file is drawing window dot uh, now we need to define some set of rules uh, for this uh, my relative layout and also we are going to add our shapes like for example rectangle ellipse or uh, lines uh, in this relative layout so we are going to just uh, so the first thing you need to add uh, kiwi version so the version you are using and after that we need to define rules for this so first I'm going to just create a canvas and uh, after that uh, you can create your rectangle in the canvas so first we are going to uh, draw a rectangle so rectangle and now we can give the position for the rectangle for example i want to give it uh, so it's the x and y position 400 from the x and also 400 from the y uh, also you need to give the size for the rectangle so i'm going to just use uh 180 and 180 so it is the uh, width and height of the rectangle so now it's simple code uh, we have uh, created our relative layout and this is the canvas and we are going to add the rectangle in the canvas so for the rectangle we are going to give a position of x and y and also we are going to give uh, the size for example width and height of the rectangle uh, now if I uh, run this so attribute error rectangle So, so guys, it's indentation error uh, in your TV file. So uh, we need to bring rectangle in here. So like this. And now let me just run it again. So now you can see that we have uh, received our rectangle in here. Uh, like this now let's just draw an ellipse in here so this is another kind of shapes uh, that we are going to create uh, ellipse 
now for the ellipse so now for the ellipse the first thing we need we need to give the angle a start and also angle end so angle start and I'm going to give it 100 and also angle end for this I want to give it 400 uh, also you, need, you can give a position so for the X and Y position 300 and 300 uh, you need to give a size so because we are using relative layout for that we need to give a position so for the size I'm going to just give it 130 and 130 now let's just uh, run our code uh, now we can see that we are receiving an ellipse in here uh, also you can draw a triangle so there are two ways that you can do uh, the first way is using the ellipse and the second way is that you have triangle uh, for drawing the triangle so now let me just show you uh, first using the ellipse okay now uh, so for drawing triangles uh, f we need to give segments for the ellipse so for example I'm going to give segments to tree and after that we are going to just give the position the X and Y position and also the size for the triangle 140 and now if we check this uh, you can see that we have a triangle uh, now you can see that this is the triangle now if you change the segments uh, for example to 4 uh, you will see that we are receiving a rectangle uh, you can see that it is uh, like rectangle or we can see that this is two triangle uh, also you can use triangle itself so let me just show you uh, so we can say triangle and uh, now for the triangle you need to give points and these are the points that we need for drawing of triangle so 110 340 uh, 380 and also 130 and uh, now let me just run this we're not going to give any position for this oh. points triangle object has no attribute points so now <coughs> Yeah, we have a uh, message spelling in here, so it's points. And now, uh, now you can see that we have uh, two triangles in here. So this is the uh, triangle that we have created. Uh, now, also you can draw lines. Uh, so for this. Uh, we are going to just create line in here and the same as triangle we need to give uh, points for our line so make sure the indentation okay now in here we are going to give points for the line uh, 10 30 on the 90 90 10 uh, 10 and 60 okay now let me just run this so now we can see that we have a dot dot lines with the points in here uh, and also in here Also, you can give color for your shapes. Now, uh, let me show you in the Kiwi file. Open your .kiwi file. 
now in here we are going to create uh, so first uh, you can add a color for all of the shapes so if you want to do that you need to add color in at the top or after canvas so we are going to use RGB and we can so it's uh, I want red color so for all the shapes and it is our RGB red green blue uh, so for the red we are going to use it one and now you can so we have invalid data after declaration now uh, we have canvas we have our color uh, and we have error because it's strong and let me remove this and we need to add RGB in here uh, now you can see that we have the red color for the all shapes now you can add the specific color for a shape for example uh, I want to change the color of ellipse so before ellipse uh, we are going to add a color in here and in here we are going to just use RGB so for this now you can uh, add your color so uh, RGB so I want green for this and also let me just uh, add another color uh, so I want to add a color for the uh, this uh, triangle so I'm going to just use color and we are going to use RGB uh, so 0 0 and also 1 uh, now for the rest I want it should be red color and now let me just run this and now you can see that this is red and this is uh, so the rest is uh, green uh, we have uh, our these colors in here like this okay now we're going to learn that how you can add shapes in the uh, how you can add images in the shapes. so for example you have a rectangle shape and uh, you want to add an image on that so for this I have already I have uh, created a new Python file so it's these are our imports app and also relative layout I'm going to use this is my main my relative layout that extends from the relative layout and I'm not going to add any code in the in this class uh, this is my main class that extends from the app and I'm going to return the my relative layout in here and in here I want to I run my kiwi application and also I have created a dot kiwi file so it's image uh, shapes window dot kiwi now uh, make sure that this name should be the same as your this uh, class uh, main class name so now we need to define some rules for the my relative layout and also we are going to be uh, want to add our first we want to add our shapes and after that we want to add our images in the shape so now let me just first uh, create uh, sorry Kiwi and this is the version uh, so my relative layout uh, we are going to create a canvas in here uh, and we are going to give a color for the canvas or well, right now we're not we're not going to give any color for this we are going to just uh, draw our ellipse in here and uh, give a position for this and it is a 200 and 200 also a size for the ellipse 180 180 now we want to add an image for this now you can add a source in here and after that your image name I have already added some images in my working directory so it's uh, the first image is kiwi.png and let's create the second shape so it is rectangle and uh, I think rectangle and uh, now the position for the rectangle we are going to give it 400 and also 200 
the size is 100 ET and 100 ET and you need to give a source so this is another image I have already copied so it's python.png uh, now let me just run this and we are going to check that we have these images or not in our shapes no we don't have and uh, image shapes image shape window so I think the problem will be in my file name uh, all right guys now the problem is in here so it's image shapes let me remove this s in from here and you can just hit uh, refactor I've already done this uh, so now let me just run this again now you can see that we have our two image, images in our shapes now uh, the shapes are not looking and uh, also you can give a color uh, for example uh, in the canvas we can just say a color of for example uh, RGB color and uh, I want to give it a red color also uh, you can give a color uh, for the for your rectangle and I want to give it RGB 001 and now we are going to run this so you can see that we have uh, two colors so this is red and this is another color so like this you can work with the shapes in Kiwi I will add the source code to the video description. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video and also share the